Hey everyone, it's James George with Web Design Blog, and this week I'm going to talk about uh, analyzing your site using heat maps. If you are interested in where your website visitors are going on your site and what they're interested in and what they are clicking on when they actually visit your site, a heat map tool is one of the best ways to do that because it will show you with heat, like as in um, an infrared or uh, something like that, when um, if you ever saw the Terminator movies or the um, Predator movies where it can see via heat, that's sort of what you're getting via your website. So one of the cool things is last week I showed you AppSumo's uh, plugins where you can add like a pop-up form or you could have a bar that you know, hey, subscribe to my newsletter or something like that or a, a scroll box that comes up to entice people to sign up for your newsletter. But uh, another thing that they just added and are offering for free are uh, heat maps. You can use those in your websites to see how people are interacting with your site. So it's real simple. You just go in and say record my actions or record, record users actions and just let it go. And I'll show you this and then I'll show you how to set it up. It's so simple. You'll you won't believe it. So click on this and it will load the heat map. You can see that it recorded 45 clicks since the last time I uh, told it to record. So you could see that the size of the dot tells you, you know, how many clicks or how uh, that it's more active. So people are really clicking on this title here. You know, hate using an iPad stylus. Sometimes they will uh, click on a word that interests them the most. You can see Wacom has two clicks iPad stylus, bulky iPad stylus, you know, those have two, three, four clicks. So these these words are good choices for the title of this article. You get a lot of, of insight for that, and it's uh, what's the main features of GitHub? What's the point of it? Why, you know, so it kind of gives you an idea of what people are interested in. Also, people are clicking on the logo because it takes them back to the homepage. And a lot of people apparently like the topic of web design. So they're clicking web design because that's what they're interested in. Notice that none of the other categories have any clicks recorded. So that tells you that people are mainly interested in web design when they come to this website. They're wanting to look at what you have to offer. Shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. So people are interested in shortcuts. And mainly people are interested in the titles because you can see a lot of clicks are on the titles themselves which I find interesting because your first intuition is to think that people would click on the images because that's what grabs their attention. But you can see from the information or the visual data that there's only one click on one image, and that's here. The rest of the clicks are on the title of the article itself, which gets, gives you a lot of insight as to what gets people's attention. So that's why it's so important to focus on the headline of your article. On your website you know just it's amazing the information that you can gather just from this heat map here uh, the only item that was clicked in the main menu was the freebies menu so people are inter interested in free stuff so web design and free stuff and your titles so write good titles offer free stuff and talk about web design that's what I learned from this information you know, but there, it offers, uh, you know, as you have more in-depth information and more clicks recorded, then you'll understand more, uh, you know, other information too as well. Like uh, if you had different icons and one was clicked more than all the others, then you know that that one, you know, stands out above the rest. So it really just depends on the website. But, you know, it's a, it's a very valuable tool. And the fact that AppSumo is offering it for free is fantastic. So be sure to go to appsumo.com and check it out. Or uh, the plugin can be downloaded directly from Sumo Me. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you guys find heat maps useful and start implementing them in your WordPress websites. I'm James George, and this is Web Design Blog.